Probably you have heard the news of the new DeepSeek AI model and you want to try it out. Well, in this video I'll be showing you how to install Olama on your computer, a tool to run large language models locally. Head to olama.com and simply click download. Once you have the installer, just click install and wait until the process finishes. After installing it, the installer window should close itself and now you should be seeing an Olama is running notification. That's how we know it has been installed successfully. Now if we go into the hidden icons app, you should now see an Olama logo. If the notification has not popped, that's our way of knowing it's running. If you don't actually see it, the normal way of opening it is by writing Olama into the Windows search bar. Now that we know that it's running, how do we actually use it? Well, we can do so with the terminal. Search for PowerShell in the search bar and click it. Now if we type Olama, a small guide should pop up. We can list our model with Olama list and you can see we don't have any. That's because we need to install one first. Head back to olama.com and click models on the top left corner. This will send you to the model library Olama currently has. As you can see, DeepSeek is the first model in the list. But there are many more that you can try. In my case, I will use DeepSeek as an example. Once we are in the model page, we can appreciate how many versions there are for it. In this case, the model has versions from 1.5 billion parameters to more than 600. If you are running only on a CPU and do not have a graphics card, 1.7 billion and 7 billion should work the best. If you have a GPU, the models between 7 billion and 14 billion parameters are the ones you want. And if you have a very powerful graphics card like an RTX 4080, 32 billion parameters is a model your card could run. Once this is clear, we can install a model by writing the command the web shows you. You can copy it. If we now go back to the PowerShell and paste the command, we copy it, a download message should appear telling the state of the download of our model. DeepSeek is a bit different from other models. This one has to think before answering, and the actual thinking is output into the console. We don't want that. That is why I'm going to show you how to use the models with a proper interface. The UI I prefer the most is actually a Chrome extension. Go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Page Assist. Click Add to Chrome and look for it in the extensions page. After finding it, simply click on it and it should appear. As you can see, the UI is pretty similar to the one ChatGPT has. This one is a bit simple but has, as all the models, a chat history as well as settings, a speech to text mode, an image import mode and the ability to search the web. To select a model we want, in my case DeepSeek, click on it on the select a model tab on the top of the page. Now we are ready to talk to our AIs in a proper way. After talking to it, the model doesn't output that large chunk of thinking, but instead it's minimized into a thought tab, which we can open if we want to. Well, this is the end of our video, I hope it was useful for you. Please consider liking it and leave a comment if you have any trouble. I will try to help you with it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and bye!